Now we are. Mystery Craters, 1971. This was a market garden. Farmer grew zucchinis on the property. Was clearing this area, getting rid of gum trees, long grass, putting more crop in. Hit some rock. He could not get it out of the ground. So he starts digging deeper down into the ground. After a metre and a half, he realised too deep to pull out. He will have to get dynamite and get rid of it. His wife sent a piece this big to Brisbane to the university. They tell us it is 25 million years old. Wow. wow. It is made from sandstone, which is here, which has fossils in it, and red ochre, which is Uluru, our big red rock in the middle of Australia. Yes. We so know. they should not be here together. The mixture goes for five kilometres. On that five kilometres, one small section, the size of a football field, has holes in it. Those holes go down, down, down into the ground and they cannot hit a bottom. We don't know where they go to. No, no hard rock bottoms anywhere. You're walking down this path here, pressing a button when you get to the tower. It will play and tell you a little bit more about them if you stand underneath and listen. It will turn itself <coughs> off. So walk away when you are ready. Then there is a fairy garden here. You can walk right round the craters at the back is a big shed of old machinery and wares from Australia, rocks and fossils from all around Australia, money, different countries, and old memorabilia back here. Okay, okay. thank you very much. Thank you. Refreshments are also available in the shop. We thank you sincerely for visiting us and we trust that you will stay and a very pleasant one indeed. The Mystery Craters is an unusual natural rock formation and are believed to be part of the Allegan Formation over 25 million years old. Since the park opened in April 1973, the sequence of the 35 craters formed in massive sizes. Natural rock formation and are believed to be part of the Elliott Formation over 25 million years old. Since the park opened in April 1973, 
The secrets of the 35 craters formed in a massive slab of sandstone, siltstone and red ochre have baffled teams of international geologists and to this day still remain a well-proclaimed unsolved mystery. Many interesting theories have been put forward including part of a large meteorite or erosion or movement of seawater but most of them are totally different. An interesting feature is the even distribution of the red ochre through the coloured sandstone as if once churned in a giant cauldron. Most geologists agree that the red ochre had to be mixed with the other two materials, but it was not only mixed, it was mixed so evenly. The red ochre is a material that Aborigines used to mix to a paste with water for painting. Most of the craters are without rock bottoms as they do not hold water for any length of time. It's agreed by geologists that these craters do not link up because of the different water levels. Whilst you're on the tower, you'll notice the likeness of some of the craters. Several of them are in the shape of a giant left footprint. You'll also notice several small craters in pairs, and they're linked once again identical and together. This formation extends straight ahead for about 50 metres. It also extends to the sides for a short distance, but no more craters appear. The crater with the pipe leading into it has been dug to a depth of 16 metres, and a good water supply has been found at this depth. Most geologists agree that the craters would have been open to their full depth when they were originally formed, and that they have gradually silted full over millions of years. Geologists also agree that this formation is completely natural and has never been touched by man. One of the most baffling points about the formation is what action has been taken to change the formation from its natural layered form to the rock mixture you see here now on top. Some geologists believe that this rock has been in some sort of boiling action. Fossilised marine deposits have been found whilst digging out and cleaning the craters. And at the base of the tower, there are two large pieces of petrified wood which contain fossilised worms. You're welcome to walk around the perimeter of the craters at your leisure and view the special features of this unique rock formation. The fence has been provided for visitors' safety and children are asked, please do not climb on the fence.